Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. Please invite your friends. Today we have a nice day and uh, we pray that we are going to have a very good time uh, showing the Mohammedan what Islam is and uh, putting some people into the real size. So please invite your friends, tell your friends about what we are going to have today. I hope people they will show up. Uh, those who promise us to come for what is called uh, debate. Now remember the Muslims really, especially those uh, people we are talking about, they don't really debate. So today it's a game of who is going to corner who. And because we don't debate, you know, debate is between two decent people. Uh, those people, they never really get a decent answer. You know, we know them. Uh, they will say anything except the truth about their religion. So uh, what, what we will do as usual, actually nothing will be different. And this is what they do always. They will do their best in order not to answer. But who care? Still, we will get them busted. <clears throat> All right. Now, apologize. My my voice is not good, but I think it's good enough to uh, uh, to do what we need to do today. So, invite your friends. We have uh, still some time before this person show up, and I did add him already. He posted his Skype um, uh, in in his page. Finally, <clears throat> so we will. I will. Uh, I will text him as soon as. It is time for us uh, to call. And let us see how this is will work. You know, I'm, I'm not expecting much from him, but at the end of the day, we are expecting victory for this cult. Uh, you know, there's, there's no match in any way, in any mean, you know. So let us see. Um, <clears throat> let me send him a text message. And as usual, you know, like when they uh, start uh, doing a debate right away, he asks people for donation, as usual. You know, even he did not start yet. <laughs> All right. I just send him hi. <clears throat> I hope he will res uh, respond. His name is YouTube Life Chat. This is what he called his name, as you see. <clears throat> In his page, I send him a message. So we will wait for their answer. <clears throat> yeah, I would like them to, you know, like I would like him to hear from him today. Uh, like, I know this is coming. You do not know Arabic, you do not know Hebrew. Elijah is with us. All right. I wish I can play some music until you, I mean, until he come. Um, so I'm not sure what to do. <clears throat> I don't want to keep talking, saying nothing. All right, guys, invite your friends and let us have a good time. Now, is it sound good? Is it sound good? Let me know, please, if you have any problem from your side. <clears throat> I'm drinking some tea if some want some. <clears throat> uh, this tea for some reason it make my throat dry so I'm not sure what to take with it let me see <clears throat> Actually, I got nothing. The only thing we can take is some water. Oh, some honey. Ah, oh, honey. The prophet says take honey. <laughs> All right. <laughs> the honey again. All right. <laughs>
All right, we got some honey with the tea. Hmm. Mm, let us see. All right, our Skype is open until now. We received no um, uh, message from Mr. Hijab. So we will be waiting. <coughs> Muhammad Hijab destroyed David Wood. Yeah, I remember when he told him, uh, Allah has part. Who said so? <laughs> <laughs> yeah Elijah is God with us <clears throat> who called you no I don't have any missing call here uh, this guy yeah yeah, somebody is telling me there's like more than I think he have his own channel. Uh, <clears throat> guys, don't call me, or otherwise I will block you. Don't call. All right. <clears throat> yeah, he's saying there is a, like a thousand people from India watching, but you do not need to call me and tell me about that. And don't text me. Don't force me to block you. <clears throat> no, Muhammad Hijab did not take, did not. Yeah, he's just a nice. He's just saying like he wanna pray, pray for me. He pray for me anytime. You know, there's no need to call. <clears throat> we always pray to the Lord, and uh, the Lord is our provider, and He is our victory. Uh, this guy, he will not stop. He will force you to block him. Actually, you know what? I, will, I have to block him. Because he never stopped texting me. <clears throat> And then now Mr. Hijab is not there. <clears throat> uh, I would like him today to say to me, silence me, answer me. Hmm? Right. <clears throat> well, I hope there will be 100k watching so they will see how this person he have no idea what he's talking about. And he is a fake from the beginning to the start. And look, you know, this guy did not even start, he started promoting. He, you know, he opened a video, he started talking about buying a product, I don't know, it's a candy, you know. Uh, now he is posting for donations in uh, 
uh, <clears throat> what he is saying here guys we urgently need your donate your, your, you to donate this is the cause for orphanage mm, the orphanage uh-huh uh, if we win this competition today we will get more money <laughs> <clears throat> no, let uh, let Muslim by choice stay, so he can witness. <clears throat> because uh, you know, I'm I'm expecting them actually to block me. Not not long after we start talking. <laughs> And this is why we ask all the Christians to be here. First of all, here we will show verses, so they cannot deny. He cannot do the same he did with the uh, uh, with David Wood, you know, the game of uh, who said so. Here, there's no who said so. Here, right away, we will show you who said so. And if they block me and they drop the call in purpose, you know, they hang up on me. We will continue, and that will be a shame for them. <clears throat> Actually, this is his plan. His plan is I will call him. And then uh, he will hang up on me and say, this guy, he know nothing. Ha, ha, ha. We make fun of you. We smash your boy. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> and when I'm talking, I will not be surprised even if he blocked my microphone. And he will excuse is I am insulting the prophet. But he knew I'm talking. I'm a Christian prince. I'm here to expose your prophet. So what do you expect? <clears throat> anyway, we are still waiting. Nothing yet. <coughs> Invite your friends, guys, and let us do some work. Uh, look what he uh, what he did. You know, he's, he he posted his uh, challenge. I'm, I'm speaking to you like a little bit far from the uh, computer. Uh, he posted a challenge, and he did not even post it for me. I mean, how how in the world I would know that this guy is waiting for me to call? I mean, do you see how, how hypocrite they are? How a Christian prince will know? Let us say, yesterday I did not come online <clears throat> for some reason. How I will know that this guy supposedly he claimed that he want to debate me. And I will give him 15 minutes. He will give me what? 15 minutes. I don't know. We will we will clear this out before we start. <clears throat> we will res reserve the first 15 minutes uh, of the program for him. I, don't, I, I hope he is not saying he will talk to me only for 15 minutes. That would be hilarious. <laughs> that is an extreme fear. That is an extreme fear. If he accept only to talk for 15 minutes, which means he will like he will slander me and blah, 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 blah. He, he think he will not let me talk. And then he will say, okay, the 15 minutes is over. I hope he doesn't mean that. Because if he mean that this is a this is a disaster for him and for the Muslims. Can you plan using what? No, no, it's that. <clears throat> anyway, we are here. You see the reason they avoid Middle Eastern people? Because we are from there and we know we know how to deal with the street boys. And soon you will you know you will see what I'm talking about.
Yeah, yeah, this is exactly. He, you know, he made it as a, okay, see, here we go. Where is the guy he want to, you know, here we go. 15 minutes, if he missed the pro, uh, you know, he, he, missed the, he missed the pork boat. So he want to make himself look like a hero. And then he got busted when I said to him, here, buddy, I'm here. I'm live on air, actually. Come here. <laughs> <clears throat> my friend it's not up to me I, we have he said 6 p.m he is not online he is not online he did not even answer yet i said to him hi see this is this is his uh, uh youtube i said to him hi 12 37 p.m he did not answer yet all right so don't ask me to call him he did not show up online yet. <clears throat> and ask the Christians, you know, if you are in his channel, ask them to come here because I'm, you know, I'm, I'm expecting him to block me in a few minutes, maybe. He's a coward. I you know. I, I know what kind of people they are. They cannot handle the truth. That Santa Claus is real and Allah is not. <clears throat> All right. We have a three thousand people here. I thought you cannot block Skype call. No, you can just block the name. <clears throat> All right. Invite your friends, guys. We have ten, uh, about nine minutes left. I hope you will show up. No, actually, six minutes. <coughs> oh, boy.
All right, if there is any movement. Let us see. Nothing yet. Uh, someone saying, uh, CP post hijab YouTube channel. What, what for? What, why you want me to post it? Anyone will text me, and the text is not, you know, if you want to say something to me, say it in the chat. Otherwise, you force me to block you. Because I will consider you trying to annoy me instead of helping me. Why you want to text me now? I mean, why you want to go search it? Very weird people. And people here they think I'm like their waiter or something do this to us even search in YouTube they don't want to do it <laughs> you know what I mean CP, show us this. CP, I mean, I receive request. It's the most funny request ever. What is missing to say, come and do dishes for us? All right, they started live. All right. I will not broadcast what they say uh, until we call, so they will not say this is copyrighted. You know? I'm waiting for them. Let us see. <clears throat> we are being fooled. Why you are being fooled, my friend? Anyway, get ready. I hope soon they will call us. Actually, I will call them first. I'm not going to wait. And if he, he called himself YouTube, you know, he called himself YouTube. And I'm calling the account he posted in, uh, in YouTube. <clears throat> so why he is not answering, I don't know. Let us see. <coughs> Actually, he did not accept my invitation yet. If you look at the, you see, I'm waiting. He does not accept my invitation yet. Let us call again. They said, if he missed the first 15 minutes, he missed the boat.
So is that what they will do? Is that what they will do? Is, is, is this the plan now? They will say we told him to call us and he did not call us. It doesn't work. Maybe he did not know that I'm live too. And, you know, I'm getting him busted. And this is exactly the, the, the post he posted in his page. This is the account. You, uh, YouTube live chat outlook.com. This is the account he posts for me. You see it? And this is his official ID. 2093A9D528B065E6. So he cannot say we did not call him. It's already four minutes after the time. What do you think, guys? They will they will let it happen or they will skip? That will be horrible. That will be a very bad decision from Mimi Hijab. <clears throat> Let's try again. Because we don't want to miss the boat. I cannot miss the boat. If I miss the boat, I will go. How? How? How will I will go? Me and the Prophet Al Khadr. Just tell him here, Abdul. I am calling. Why you do not answer, Mimi? Hmm. <clears throat> Imagine me waiting for those kids. Unbelievable. <laughs> if you are a Muslim, tell the tell your guy, is it embarrassing? It's really embarrassing if you don't answer. He will live two more hours. What do you mean two more hours? He says 6 p.m. What's uh, what are you talking about? <clears throat> I'm not going to wait for him. Google, what is the time in England? It's 6.6 .6 now. So what do you mean he? Here we go. It's in front of you. He says 6 p.m. UK tomorrow. What two hours? <clears throat> he will come live soon okay we will see no in UK it is 6 or 7 I mean even a simple time they could not keep All right. I wonder how, I wonder why. 
you told me about the blue blue sky and all what I can see call him now still not the same he did not uh, did not even accept the invitation yet <clears throat> His chat is dead. Waiting for YouTube accept to accept invitation. And already I call him three times. No. Even Skype is showing you that the guy is snoring. <laughs> Oh, Lord have mercy. No, maybe he is late for some reason. Maybe he have a flat tire. You never know. Maybe washing dishes. You never know. He says he's waiting. I can tell that he is waiting. Where is the waiting? <clears throat> My friend, I do not need to look anywhere because simply the problem is, you see those people, they are very evil. And if you use their video, they will say copyright and they will flag you right away. All right. So we will broadcast when they call us, not before, not after. No problem, but he have to he have to call me. I know he will do a production and he will ask people for for donation, and he will quote for them the Quran. Allah he said, "Who give us a merciful loan?" <laughs> True story. My friend, we knew they are alive, but what the point? If you don't like to stay here, leave. So what I will do to you? They are alive, but and they are not answering me. What I will do? I mean, what the point? <clears throat> hmm. Have you given him information about your Skype? Oh, that mercy. I'm calling him to his Skype. And everybody have my Skype. I mean, here you see, you see a comment. It's kind of hilarious. If you call a person three times and you send him hi, already he got my my Skype. We don't have a Lidawa Skype. They give us only this one. Put the chat in the slow mood. I'm not sure how to do that in the slow mood now. My friend, what's wrong with you people? Call Ali Dawa. I don't have a Skype of Ali Dawa, and it's not the Skype of Ali Dawa we will debate with. It is Mimi Hijab. Stop making funny comment, guys. It's not even Ali Dawa. Who's Ali Dawa? This guy is just a nurse for, uh, for Mimi Hijab. <clears throat> If you don't have patient, uh, go, you know, I don't know what I, what I would do to you, what I can do. I mean, I, here we go. I'm here half hour before the time. Now it is 12 minutes after the time they asked for. What I would do. 
If you have no patience, go sleep. Maybe he's hoping I will say, hey, see, this guy did not show up. Bye-bye. I think so. He's hoping that me, myself, I will give up. And that will make him look like a hero and will make me look like a hero. <laughs> it doesn't work this way. I will wait. I'm here. You know? I'm here. The question, are they? <clears throat> Funny kids. Hmm. See, my friend, life need patient. You have always to be patient. Patient is good. Right? No problem. We'll call again. Here we go. And who care what channel they are in? What's wrong with you guys? I mean, why people they say things to me very funny? Who care what the channel they are? It's guys, our debate is in a Skype, not in a channel. Stop being like I didn't know what's wrong with people. <laughs> who care what the channel they are in? Are we going to talk using YouTube? No, it is you who hear through YouTube. For me, we are using Skype. Stop being funny. What uh, channel? Who care about the channel? Channel is just for you to listen. We will use Skype. Did you hear the ring from... Uh, uh, I don't know. What, what do you mean he asked for my Skype? The coward, he posted the Skype. He posted the Skype. Guys, look look at the look at those flyers. He is saying he's asking for my Skype. I am calling him them already. I added the same Skype they posted in their email in their in their YouTube. Funny people. <clears throat> they are saying, what is your Skype? This is my Skype. Let me show it to you. Live on air. It says, not me. Debate TV. And there is a flag. Christian Prince flag. Very easy. Two minutes. 
Okay, they said in two minutes they will call. Let us see. <clears throat> he said he have a camera technical difficulty. Hmm. All right. <clears throat> Camera difficulty. I saw this movie before, but I don't remember where. All right. So they have a, they have a camera difficulty, and you know, remember, always customers they are right. There's no sound. Guys, do you hear me or no? Is my sound good? <coughs> All right. Yeah, this chat going so fast, it's very hard to read because too many people. Well, that's OK. I wonder how, I wonder why. All right, all right. Camera difficulty. I mean, those people, they have, they set up a time 24 hours ago. And now they have, and he said 15 minutes, he will miss the boat. It's already 21 minutes after the time. Yeah, I added the word, not me, because people, they keep asking me, are you DBTV? <laughs> so I said, not me. <laughs> they say they don't know my face, your figure, not your real name. So, so what does this have to do now? They will not debate me then? They are saying they don't know my my they don't know your face, your figure, uh, or your real name. <laughs> Is that a new sign of a drama now? I'm like Allah, my friend. <clears throat> Do you really think that those people, they have a camera difficulty? Or this is just an excuse, so I will give up, hoping that I will say, okay, guys, I waited for him, bye-bye.
Mm. And they say it says a lot about the one who don't show his face. That's exactly that's the point. Allah don't show his face. That said a lot. <clears throat> hmm. Maybe Jibreel did not come because there's a there's a dog in the front of the house of uh, Mimi Hijab. And now in his channel, he is calling me Christian boy. Somebody is telling me what they are saying there. <laughs> See, they are just trying to insult, so this will not happen. You know, they are just trying their best to insult so that this debate will never happen. They are scared. They are terrified. This is why Hijab yesterday, he posted, tomorrow I will uh, I will make the Christians community this uh, disown you, dishonor you, something like that. You know? <clears throat> uh, no, they did not. You see, they're they're uh, they did not add me to their uh, Skype yet. Uh, I think they are just doing games. They don't want to. They, they don't, you know, they are they are doing their best. So this will not happen. Trust me. They will do it only if I did not give up. They are waiting for me to say. Uh, okay, guys, here we go. I wait for him for 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and this is the whole point. They will not do it. They don't want to do it. But if we have patient, we might force them to do so because it's going to be embarrassing, really embarrassing. So I'm not going to leave until they call me. <clears throat> you know what I mean? So Mimi Hijab now is online. So why is not calling? <laughs> yeah, you know, they are just a slander me, but they will not call me. And now they are playing a video of me and the son. so he will not debate me you see the coward i mean they are live on air and i'm waiting for them and they will not call me do you see the cowards now he is playing a video of me and sam shamoon and david why you don't call me <laughs> He will not call. You know what? Let me go to his channel. I will mute the YouTube. And I will pause for him. Yeah, he's saying, I am Sam teacher. I am Sam teacher. Hmm. He read that completely. Right, right. You see, they will not call me. Here we go. They are doing. You see, I'm, I, I, I am, I am in their chat now, and I'm saying to them, "Call me." Instead of all of this drama, you know. I'm saying, okay, just call me, you know, let us see. Here we go. This is my text. See it? Call me, Mimi. Where are you? <laughs> I'm not going to play their voice. So they will not say, you know, uh, you see, everybody's saying, okay, call him. You see, his chat is boiling. People, they are saying, okay, call the guy and cut the, you know, this. Uh, this drama, you know, call, you know, all right. 
and the same. <clears throat> All right. Uh, Muhammad Hijar is saying, call now. I'm calling. Here we go. Oh, not me. <laughs> <laughs> hello. Hello, hello. Peace of oh, Christ to all those who love peace and no peace for evil ones. Okay, very nice. Okay, go to Surah Tawbah and read it in Arabic, please. You're an Arabic expert. We need to hear yeah, it. Yeah, you know, you know, hijab. Are you going to make a debate or you are just a kid? Uh, can you can you read the you said that you asking the you know, listen, you listen. The, we, we will read whatever. Just just sit video. sit in the front of the screen and be a man, and everybody is watching. People are laughing at you. Be a man, Mister Elijah. God is with us. We will read in Arabic. We will read. We will read in any language you want. Be the man. Be the man. Be them. Don't don't run. Don't you see? You're acting like a kid. What kind of a debate this debate is? Sit in the front of the camera and say, Christian Prince, I challenge you to do this. Okay, uh, Chris, English? Uh, Christian boy, you said you said to. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Why you are hiding? You have a bunch of guys around you, and one of them he's playing with his mustache. Where are you? Where are you? Just come talk to me. Aren't you going to debate me? You said to the Muslim, you want to debate me. You said to the Muhammadan, you want to debate me. Where are you? Hey, where, where are you? Where are you? I'm waiting for you. You okay. said at 6.15, hey, if you did not call me, he he, hey, he, he missed the boat. Mr. Hey. Prophet Noah, you are a Prophet oh, Noah. We don't want to miss your hey, boat. Come to hey, the come hey. to the debate. And by the way, why you keep okay. saying I will debate you and you never say inshallah? What kind of a Muslim he say and he okay. post in YouTube saying I will debate the Christian prince, but you never say inshallah. Isn't it required for a Muslim to say inshallah? Yeah. Um, can, you, can you hear me? I hear you. Isn't it oh, required? Okay. Isn't it required for a Muslim before he make a promise? Before he make a guys, look at this. You see, those are a bunch of kids. Look at them. Where is the debate? Isn't it required for a Muslim to say inshallah before he say tomorrow I will debate the Christian Prince at 6 p.m.? Yeah, that's right. Can okay, so why you keep posting in YouTube? You never say inshallah. Oh, inshallah. Okay, fine. fine. Inshallah, 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 inshallah. No, 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 no. I want you to answer me. Don't tell me inshallah now. It's too late. Don't you know that your prophet said the one who don't say inshallah is disobeying Allah? Uh, are we going to have a conversation? Yes, we are having a conversation. What kind of a person? Let me tell you. Is it true that the one who say a promise without saying inshallah according to Islam, it's mean he's making false promise? Hello, hello. Is it true? Is it true that the one who say inshallah who make a promise without saying inshallah he is making a false promise? Yes or no? Okay, is it Look, 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 why well, you don't want to answer? Where are you? What, 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 what? I want an answer. What kind of a Muslim you are? You start, you make a promise without saying, inshallah. According to your scholars, the one who say, I will debate, I will do something tomorrow, and if you don't say, inshallah, he is a liar by that promise, for it's a false promise. Is that true or I'm lying? Hello? <laughs> we did not start yet. They have nothing to say. Why are you muted your microphone? They are discussing between each other what they will say. How you can answer me? What kind of a group are you? You make a promise to debate the Christian prince without saying, Inshallah. According to your scholar, those who say, a promise without saying inshallah they are false promisers and they are liars hello so you bring me five six boys there and you none of you can answer me 
forget about Mimi Hijab. What about Lili Dawa? What about the guy with the beard? What about the guy with the headphone? What happened? We hear you. We don't hear you. Why you mute the microphone? Okay. Okay. Good. Can you read verse uh, chapter nine verse? Don't 30? change the topic. Answer me, and we will read whatever you want. Answer me. Is it is it according to Islam the one who say Insha Allah before he make a promise he is a false and he is a liar? Yes or no? Okay. Just just say that you look. I'm yes or no? Yeah, no, 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 no. Let's, 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 you see, no, you are no. trying to avoid my friend. I am illiterate like your prophet. I do not know how to read. You're a prophet, you do not know how to read. This is how stupid your prophet is. Are you saying to me I am a I'm a stupid like your prophet too? No, don't change the topic. I want you to answer what kind of a Muslim he say, according to Allah, the one who say a promise without saying, inshallah, he is a false promiser and he's a liar. Do you agree with Allah or not? Maintain a conversation. You yes. are the one who changed the topic. The second yes. you open the microphone, you say, ha, ha, read for me. Ha, ha. What kind of a debate is debate? So you are making a post in YouTube, claiming to be a Muslim, doing Muslim dawah, asking for donation. Yes. But yet each time you post a verse, you post something in YouTube, you never say, inshallah. So I'm asking you, are you a practicing Muslim or you are a fake Muslim? What kind of a Muslim? You don't say, inshallah. Give me the answer. What he said about Muslim women? You don't change the topic. You are the Muslim women in front of me now. You are the only women you in front of me. Your name is Hijab, which means Burqa. So now by by running away from answering, you are the women. Let's go to the video, please. Listen, listen, you are a coward. You, you will not answer me, aren't you? You will not answer me. Press play. <laughs> This is, so where is it? So look, at guys, guys. He will try to make me. He will try to force me to to hang up. Why you? Why you are not going to answer? He hang up. The coward. The coward. The potato. You can debate me. Are you serious? I am the Christian prince, and you are a potato. He hang up the coward. All of you together, you cannot even debate my toes alone. If I leave my toes alone in the front of a Skype, you will be scared. And this is why he start. <laughs> CP, I will play for you a video. I thought you want to debate me. Okay, play for me a video. Is that a belly dancing video? Have you ever heard of a debate like this? <laughs> and now they are saying I am playing a video. He's playing a video about breastfeeding. Wonderful. So we will switch the topic to the breastfeeding topic. Is that what do you want, my friend? No problem. Here we go. What kind of a prophet he order women to give their boobs to a, an adult? He is playing a video about breastfeeding. <laughs> You see, they are opening a topic. They don't dare even to mention it in the front of me. We will wait for them. Maybe they, they will, let me call them back. I mean, why want to give them a break? The breastfeeding, are you ashamed actually to speak about this topic? See, he's not answering. And people they say to me, Why you call them potatoes? Why I call them potatoes? The answer in the front of you. Give me a reason not to call them potatoes. So, all this, uh, you know, you want to debate and. Yes, Mimi, how are you?
Hey, Boston, go ahead. Tell us what you, what you want to say about this. Okay, I'm asking you. Is it is it lawful for you as a Muslim? Is it lawful for you? Let me let me let me ask let me ask you the question. Is it lawful for you as a Muslim to say to say a promise without inshallah? Is that make you a false person? Yes or no? Are Muslim women prostitutes? Huh? Are Muslim women prostitutes? Then answer. Well, your prophet he says a woman she put a perfume she is a prostitute. A woman she put a woman. Okay, hold on, hold on. I, somebody told me, somebody told me that you were playing a video about uh, women breastfeeding. Yes or no? Muslim women prostitutes. Yes or no? no? I'm asking you. No, I no no. I'm not saying Muslim women is a prostitute. But you're the prophet. You're a prophet. He treat them like a prostitute. I'm asking you. And why you are why you don't want to answer me? Why you say why you did not say inshallah? Just answer me about this. I will answer you about your question. Answer me why you did not say inshallah. What are you talking about? You're saying Muslim women are prostitutes and you're talking you about are a liar, you are a liar, you are a potato, you are a potato. Okay, listen, listen, you're a prophet. He said you're a, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You are saying that you hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You will not answer me, you will not answer me about my question. So why I will answer about your question? Answer me. Did your prophet say? Did your prophet say that Suleiman? Oh, listen, coward! Listen, coward! This is not a debate. I am the one who asked you the question first. You answer me. This is a debate. I am the one who asked you the question first. Listen. Are you going to answer or not? Listen, listen, listen. Okay, let me answer you. Let me answer you. Let me let me answer you. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! You, your prophet said. That the one who don't say inshallah, Allah will never make his work accomplish. And look what your prophet said. Hold on, your prophet said that Suleiman he have one hundred Suleiman he have one hundred wife, and because he forgot to say inshallah, he could not make them carry a child. Is that true? How come you're so brave with that girl and with me? You're not brave at all. Listen, listen, we will bring anything and get it close to the mic. I can't hear you. Get it close to the mic. Listen, Abdul. Are you trying to show your breasts? Abdul, Abdul, be a man. You're asking us for breasts. Is that if I did that with Christian woman? Is that right? What? 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 I don't hear you. I don't hear you. What? I don't hear you. Listen, the Jesus that you follow, would he approve of what you done? What? The Jesus that you follow, would he approve of what you did? Absolutely, because Jesus told me to expose every liar when you're a prophet. When you're a prophet, he ordered a Muslim woman to, to give her a breast to a stranger. Is he a man teaching them to do prostitution or not? What kind of what kind of a prophet? He teach old women to give her boobs to a stranger. Answer me. I want an answer. You're a prophet. You, you are the one who mentioned this topic. Did your prophet order old adult women to give her a breast to an adult man? Yes or no? You are a grown man, you sound like you're on your phone. You will not answer I, then. So what oh forget I about me going you man or not? You call me a boy, right? Don't you call me a boy to insult me? I want an answer. What kind of a prophet he give an order to to Muslim women to give their boobs to adult men? They are strangers. Okay, no, I'm not, no, 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 I'm sorry. Bro, Somebody who does that, any words to that. speak to a 16 year old girl. Listen, and listen, and listen. Either you answer or you're a coward. A bunch of you, look how many of you. You are five, six people there. You can't answer me. You are the one who opened the topic. What kind of a prophet he ordered a Muslim woman to give her a breast to a stranger? He must be asking to know Christian ladies. Never in my world. Are you going to answer? What kind of a prophet? Yes. What kind of a prophet? Yes. Listen. The one what? What? Yes. Because I say to myself, like the Prophet said, when a man came to the kitchen, or Rasulullah, make me connect with dinner. What did he do automatically? Do you like your mom? My friend, my friend, do you like your mother? Do you, are you saying to me, you allow your mother to give her a breast, to give, to give, to give, to give a breast to you for me? In a hijab, in a hijab. I am, I am a Muslim now, and I want to I wanna visit your mother. Is it allowed for her to give her breast to me? Yes or no? You see, they will answer, coward, coward. A bunch of cowards. I told you, I told you. That you're going to lose the trust of the Christian community. He made a big mistake. He made a big mistake. He humiliated himself today, because the truth is this, is that the people now know what kind of vulgarities you answer me. Let us see. Let us see. What kind of a prophet? What kind of a prophet? What kind of a prophet? He ordered Muslim women to give their breast. 
You, you are boy. Guys, you are nothing. Did, 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 they, did they mute my microphone on the other side? Somebody tell me, did they mute my microphone? You are nothing. You understand? You will come and speak to me like that. That's why you are running and hiding. Coward, coward, coward. I'm asking you. You are the one who opened the topic. What kind of a prophet he ordered Muslim women to give their breast to a stranger? We are waiting for an answer. Yeah, you're telling them about them things, yeah? And you're lying but to them. He's talking to himself. I don't even people. hear you, coward. Where are you? Listen. Okay, hold on, hold on. What about you come? You, let, let, what about you come and read for us the Arabic language you are talking about? You can't read. Go ahead. I cannot Go read. You're a prophet. You cannot read, my friend. I am illiterate like you're a prophet. Still, I want an answer. You're a prophet, he said. That's a man. He forgot to say, Inshallah, he had sex with 100 women. Allah did not bless him. He did not give him a child. So today, you are going to have sex with 100 of you Muslims there, and you will not have a child because you never say, Inshallah. So, what kind of a Muslim you are? Secondly, what kind of a prophet he said to a woman, suckle an adult man, and then Aisha, she ordered her nieces and her sisters to suckle an adult to attend to her. What kind of religion? It says such a thing. Listen, listen. What kind of a prophet he says? If a woman she have a perfume and she walk in the street, she is a whore. Did your prophet say that? Did your prophet say if a woman she have a perfume and she walk in the street, she is a whore? Yes or no? You want to read or not? I will read anything. I will I just, just get to go to the mic. I will read anything you want. Abdul, I'm here. I'm here for you. I'm here. I am here. The, I am here. The genie who will spank you. Now come and answer me, you coward. Stop talking about reading. I do not. No, listen, listen. I want an answer. You are the one who opened the topic. You are the one who opened the topic. I cannot read like you're a prophet. Here we go. Are you saying your prophet is, a, is an idiot? Listen. I read better than you and in front of everybody. I will give you a verse from the Quran. You will read it. You will give me a verse from the Quran. You will read it and everybody will laugh. But in the same time, I want an answer. Why you are a prophet? He ordered women to give their booze to a stranger and you are the one who opened the topic. You are the one who opened the topic. Don't run away from it. You see the coward? You see the coward? He opened the topic. He will not close it. On you guys, <laughs> so, on this listen, like that. listen, you, listen, you coward. Are you, are you going to tell the crowd why you're a prophet? You order women to give their breast. Listen, Mr. Panty. Listen, Mr. Mr. Listen, listen. Okay, listen, listen, listen. I don't know even what you are talking about. Can you, can you, can you talk to me? Can you talk to me? You see how they are, they are seven people there, seven people, and they are talking to themselves. They are not talking to me. You muted me? You're not a man. You're not a man. My friend, my friend, my friend, my friend, you are, you are, you are the one who said that yourself. And I am a man and you are not. You're a prophet. He used to hide in every attack. He hide at the end. And when they broke his teeth, he went between the legs of Aisha and he was bleeding. And he said to her, did you see what happened to me, Aisha? We don't do that. You are the coward. Now answer me. He muted me the coward, you see? Read this book, I'll read it. Even if it's a medical book, and I don't know the jargon, terminology, and syntax, and phraseologies, I'll try my best as a native English speaker. Are you saying you're native Arabic? You can't even open a book. Well, you know I'm going to correct you. Boy, you know I'm going to correct you. I'm going to correct you in front of thousands of people. Abdul, Abdul, you are a native Arabic. You are not. You are an Egyptian. Mr. Egyptian boy. You know that I'm going to know it Stop muting me, coward. What kind of a debate you mute your, your debate or you coward? Okay. And, that's, and that's why I'm going to give him one more chance. I'm going to, let me tell you why. Let me, let me show you something. Yeah. Show me another video of the poor one. Coward. You see, you see, Muhammad Hijab, you are a coward. Why are you muting me? You prove that you are a coward. You are a coward. I want to kick you off Skype, though, yeah? Why, why, you, why you coward? You coward. Why? Why you coward? Coward, are you there? Why are you muting me? He hang up again. 
<coughs> See the cowards. If you have a video to play for me, no problem. But at least speak to me, you coward. You mute me and you ask me to answer you. Do you see how much they're scared? There are seven people there. And all of them, they cannot answer me. You want me to answer you about prostitution? Here we go. This is the Quran. The Quran says that force not your wives to do prostitution. But if they agree, eh, it's okay. Here we go. Is that your Quran or not? And there is no penalty if you force your girls to do prostitution. It's chapter 24, verse number 33. Another form of a prostitution. The prophet, he says, any women, any man, they like each other. They can enjoy themselves in the bed for three days, three nights. Is that a prostitution or not? And you call it muta. And you must answer yourself. You say to the Shia, do practice this until now. You say to them, this is a prostitution. What kind of a prophet he says such a thing? That any man, any woman, they can enjoy each other three days a night. And look at this debate. They keep hanging on me. And they will not let me talk and they mute me. You see how much they are terrified? Do you see how much terrified they are? I did not hang up on them. They hang up, they speak for five minutes, talking to themselves, and then they will call me back. <laughs> and then they mute me. <laughs> this is your prophecy. If any man, any woman agree, it doesn't say temporarily marriage, liars, a translation. And I speak Arabic better than your God himself. And I challenge you. أيما رجل وامرأة توافقا فعشرة ما بينهما ثلاث ليال فإن أحبا أن يتزايدا أو يتتاركا تتاركا any any man and a woman if they agree to live together for three 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 nights if they want to increase they increase if they want to decrease they can decrease is that a prostitution or not? And when you say this is temporarily marriage, that's mean temporary sex. Do you see the cowards? Yeah, I'm muted all the time. You see, all the time I'm talking, they muted me. So they're the one to debate me. Do you see the coward? They, they claim they are asking me to come and debate them, but I am muted all the time. This is why I wanted to go here so people, they will see what's happening. They thought I will call and it's going to be in their page alone. So people will know what not know what happened like most of the time. And then that's it. He speak, he muted me and people, they will think I'm not answering. <laughs> My friend, I destroy you even in two seconds before the debate is started. Are you going to mute me again? I'll do what I want. Are you going to mute me again? Why you are being a coward? Why you keep muting me? Why you why you keep muting me? Why you keep muting me? Listen, why you keep muting me? Give me a reason. Give me a reason. How, how you can debate me, but you put me in mute? Well, give me your chance now. Go ahead, talk. No, no, no. Okay, you will give me a chance. Thank you very much, yeah, guys. He will give me a chance. So we will, go, we will go back to zero. We will go back to zero. You're a prophet, he said. The one who don't say, inshallah, Allah will destroy his work. And in the Quran, chapter 18, verse number 23, it says, don't say to anything that I'm going to do tomorrow without saying, inshallah. So what did the Muslim you say that? And you're a prophet, he said. You're a prophet, Abdul. You said you would give me a chance. Shut up, let me talk. Let me talk. Listen, let me talk. Let me talk. Here we go. Give you Quran and Sunnah, no problem. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This is this is Tafsir Al Razi. It says it says فَإِذَا كَانَ لَمْ يَقُلْ إِنْشَاءَ اللَّهِ صَارَ كَادِبًا فِي ذَلِكَ الْوَعْدِ. It's in the front of you on the screen. Read it for us. 
You say you claim that you speak Arabic. You claim that you know Arabic. This is the hadith, and this is and this is the quotation. Listen, Abdul. Abdul, I'm going to give you. I'm going to give you the link. Here we go. Read it for me. Read it for me. And this is Quran too. Yes, Quran. Chapter 18, verse number 23. Chapter 18. Stop talking. Stop talking. Listen, 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 okay, listen, 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 are we going to answer or not? Does it say, he muted me again, right? He muted me again. Are you going, did you mute me? Listen, I just gave you the link, I want you to open it and answer it. The one who gave a promise when I was saying, Insha'Allah, Sara Kadiban fi darika al-wad, wal kadibun munfarid, wa darika la yaliq. Listen, I want you to answer. Did I did I give you the reference? Did I give you the reference? Did I give you the reference? This is Quranic Arabic. Abdul, 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 Abdul. I don't care about what you are saying now. Are we going to answer? Isn't it your prophet? How you say? Isn't it your prophet? He said that's your man. Listen, everybody, everybody, this coward will never answer. Here we go. This is his prophet. This is his prophet saying. You're a prophet saying, and this is Sahih Hadith, that Suleiman, he wanted to have sex with 99 women, but because he forgot to say, Inshallah, Allah destroy his plan. I am a scholar in Islam, and you are not your potato. Answer me. Here we go. I'm giving reference. You gave me nothing. He muted me again. He muted me again. The coward. You see, he muted, he muted me again. It's a boy, man. You're a boy in a man's world. It's like a man is a you're a boy. He muted me again. He keep muting me. He called me for one second and then he mute me. Come on, come on. Why is fighting there? Listen, Abdul, you, you muted me all the time. I'm asking you. I'm asking you. Did I give you the proof? I gave you the link. I gave you the link. That the one who made the promise with our saying, Inshallah, Sara Kadiban, is that true or not? And you're a prophet, and you're a prophet said that Suleiman, because he did not say, Inshallah, Allah gave him a half a child. So, do you say, Inshallah, before you have sex with your wife, Mr. Mimi Hijab? Or you have a habit with our saying, Inshallah? I am sure, I am sure since today. I am sure of from, now, from now on you will never do anything I would say inshallah. Where is it called in the Quran? Where it's in the Quran? Yes. It is a chapter 18, verse number 23, you coward potato. Chapter 18, verse number 23. 18, number 23. This guy, he never heard of them. Six, seven Muslims there, they never heard the Quran saying, never say. Inshallah, say, say, I will do something tomorrow without saying Inshallah. They say, where is that in the Quran? Where's Paul? Huh? Huh? Where's Paul? What? 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 I didn't hear you. What? <laughs> what? What? In the Quran, it says, don't say anything without saying Inshallah. I gave you the verse. Can you show it to me? Where is Paul? Where is Paul? You said Paul in the Quran. Where is Messenger of Paul? Where? Where? What? He said what? Where is Paul in the Quran? Chapter 36, verse 19. You said that Paul is there. Please show us where. It says what? Chapter what? I'm speaking. You're speaking of me. Chapter 36, verse 19. You said 14, verse 14. You said Paul. This is talking about Paul. And miracles were done in the name of Jesus. Paul did it. Hold on, hold on. Give me the verse again, please. Give me the verse again. Chapter 36. Now we're talking. Verse 14. Okay. Yeah? Yeah? Okay, good. Verse what? Verse what? 14. Verse 14. 14. Yeah. Okay, 14. 14. Okay. Chapter 36, <laughs> verse number 14 is not about breastfeeding. 14, yes, yes, 14. Yeah, this, yeah. this is about Paulus. What, what, what breastfeeding? Where in the Quran it says that? That's wonderful. So, guys, be my witness. They are the one who opened the topic. In two seconds, they will change the topic. Okay. Yeah, all, all right, here we go. All, all, so, who is the one who said that this is Paul? That's a wonderful uh, question. Give me a second, please. Because if I say that, you will say I'm lying, right? 
but I have to show you reference. Give me, give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. Hold on. Let me give you 20 seconds. No, uh, 20 seconds only? Uh, brother, brother, can, can you make... Okay, here we go. 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 It's coming. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. This is Tafsir Ibn Kathir. This is Tafsir Ibn Kathir in front of you. Page number 404. Qisas al Anbiya li Ibn Kathir. And it says, Here we go. I want you to read with me. And all of you, a bunch of idiots. Here we go. Listen, let me read. Let me read. وكان ممن آمن بالمسيح وصدقه من أهل دمشق رجل يقال له ضينا وكان مخفي مختفيا في مغارة داخل الباب الشرقي قريبا من كنيسة المصلية خوفا من بولس اليهودي وكان ظالما وغاشما مبغضا للمسيح ولما, ولما جاء الشتب كان قد حلق رأس ابن أخيه حين أمر بالمسيح وطاف به then it says ولما سمع بولس أن المسيح عليه السلام قد توجه نحو دمشق جهز بغله وخرج ليقتله فتلقاه عندنا عند كوكبة فلما واجه أصحاب المسيح جاء إليه ملك فضرب وجهه بطرف جناحه فأعماه فلما رأى ذلك وقع في نفسه تصديق المسيح فجاء إليه واعتذر مما صنع وآمن به فقبل منه وسأله أن يمسح عينيه ليرى الله عليه بصره فقال اذهب this is Ibn Kathir. Let me translate now. No, 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 no. Oh, shut up, shut up. I will translate everybody. You, you became the joke of everybody. You challenged me to say where it says this is about Paul. Here we go. This is Ibn Kathir. And this is the page number. I will translate. Shut up, shut up. Page number 404, Ibn Kathir. The story of the prophet. It says that Paul, he wanted to kill the Messiah. He heard that he is coming to Damascus. So he went to the mule. And when he went there, he when he went there, when he went there, an angel hit him in his eyes and make him blind. And then Paul became a believer in Jesus. And then Paul, he asked the Messiah, can you please recover me so I can see again? And then he recovered him. So now I want your answer. Go ahead. Go forward. Go forward, forward, forward. Answer. Thank you very much. Now back, 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 back. Right there. Thank you very much. Pause. All right. This is what you're talking about. Shaib and Jabal, yeah? Is that true? That's what you're talking about. You can see this one, isn't it? I don't see what you are talking about. Uh, I gave you Ibn Kathir. Ibn Kathir, Qisas al Anbiya, Ibn Kathir, here we go. Uh, listen, listen, it's in the front of me. No, 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 this is not the one. This is a different one. You are a potato again. You, you do not know Islam. You are an ignorant. This is a different book. You, you, you see, you see, Ibn Hijab, you are an ignorant. This is a different book, you idiot. That is a different book. You are a potato. I'm quoting, I'm quoting for you from Qisas al Anbiya, potato. This is a different book. This this is a different book. You are a kid. All of you are a bunch of kids. This is the book of Qisas al Anbiya, page number 404. This is your, this is Ibn Kathir reporting. You tell me. You tell me. I don't know. You tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Who? Who? You tell me. Here we go. It says, here we go. Let me, let me show you narrated by who. Hold on. Let me show you. Let me, let me. Uh, oh. Listen, listen. So you are asking me or asking Ibn Kathir? Are you asking me or asking Ibn Kathir? You say to me where it says that this is Paul and Ibn Kathir he agree with it. I, it doesn't say here in front of me. You tell me who? No, listen, listen, listen. No, no, no I want you to tell me. Give me the name. Give me the name. Give me the name. Okay, are you saying Ibn Kathir is a stupid? Are you saying... So you accuse me of lying, but this is Ibn Kathir saying that Paul is a messenger of the Messiah. My friend, I'm reading for you what it says in the front of me. If your reporter did not report, this is your business. I'm asking you. You tell me the chains. Really, the chain for me. Go ahead. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Who is the one with the name? What 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 the, what the name? Okay, hold on. So you are saying to me, Ibn Kathir is a boy. Secondly, this is not the guy you are naming. It's in front of you. I was playing you, you idiot. Here we go. This is the narrator. You are a potato again. You get busted. Hey, listen, listen. I wanted to show everybody how you play games. Here we go. And Ibn Jurayr, Jarir, and Muhammad Ibn Ishaq, and Naisa. So the, the one who reported this story, 
The, the one who reported the story is Ibn Jurair, you coward. It is even different name from the one you mentioned. Listen, it says, وَإِن صَحَّحَهُ It is صَحِيح, you coward. It says, وَإِن صَحَّحَهُ It is صَحِيح. Why you are lying? This is a Jabai individual. Was someone who was My friend, there's no Ajabai there. You are a potato. Where is Ajabai? Show me Ajabai name. He muted me again. <laughs> he muted me again, as usual. You see the cover? They challenged me. They challenged me to show them where it says that Paul is a messenger of God. <laughs> not only that, not only that, hold on, I have I have more surprise for you. I have more surprise for you. Listen. Listen, he hang up again the potato. You wanna debate the Christian prince, you potato? I will smash you with two fingers. They got busted. Well, oh you you said this is about Paul. Show us where it says this is about Paul. I did not even start quoting yet. I have more than 80 books. Cowards. Victory to Jesus, not to Christian Prince. In the name of Jesus, we destroy you today and we show everybody your size. This is your size. Seven people in the other side, they could not answer me. Show us where it says Paul. And he changed the topic. He kept changing the topic like a, like a rabbit. This is a guy who prepared to debate me for six months. I did not know the questions. You see, I do not know what the questions. They are asking me. I'm answering in a second. We'll give you 20 seconds. Okay. <laughs> 20 seconds only. If you pass 20 seconds, you are lost. You're lost. <laughs> They hang up the cowards, cowards, potatoes. You want to debate the Christian prince? Are you sure? Are you sure? If you want to answer my old video, why you are you calling me then? So look, this is how the debate worked. Uh, he will say something there. He said, the guy, this guy, this hadith is daif. This is hadith, etc. Listen, if this hadith is da'if, as you say, why Ibn Kathir agree with it? Because the Prophet said so? Ah, well, where all the Muslims get the information from? Isn't it from the Prophet? Where Ibn Abbas, he got the information from? Where all the Muslim scholars, they got the information from about Islam? Everything you Muslim you learn is from the prophet. Hey Abdul, if you if you if you hang up on me one more time, if you hang up on me one more time, that's mean that's mean you are a potato. If you hang up, you, you, listen, listen, listen. You said you said you want to debate me. Why you why you mute, why you keep muting me? Listen. Yes, 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 I, I say, that, yeah, yes, 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 it says this is a good hadith, here we go, let me show you, my friend, my friend, hey, Muhammad, a brother and sister, let me show you the 20th brother, let me show you the 20th and my friend, it says that this is sahih, it says in the front of you, of you it is sahih, my friend, does it say, does it say sahih, yes or no, does it say, it says, it says, here we go, it says, it says, okay, my, this is Ibn Kathir saying that, you bet, you potato, Ibn Kathir saying that, I'm reading what Ibn Kathir is saying. Listen, listen, coward. Listen, Ibn Kathir. So, are you asking me? Are you asking me or asking Ibn Kathir? Are you asking me? Are you asking me? I'm listening and I'm asking you too. Are you asking me or asking Ibn Kathir? And this is a different book. Read carefully. It says, Wakana. This is Ibn Kathir talking. This is not that. You potato, you potato. Listen, listen. Let me talk. Let me talk. The one who is saying that here, I want you to read with me. 
وكان ممن امن بالمسيح وصدقه من اهل دمشق اوكي ازين ذا قران سين اوكي هولد اون ازين ذا قران سين ذات الله هي سند تو ماسنجرز اند هي سترينج ذيم وذ ذا ثيرد ام اسكينج يو ان فرونت اوف ايفري بادي ام اسكينج يو ام اسكينج يو ان فرونت اوف ايفري بادي هو از ذا ثيرد وان اي شود يو اي كان شو يو اي كان شو يو مور ذان 80 بوكس سين ذات ذيس از بول اوكي اتس ا تشالنج بتوين مي اند يو ار يو ويلينج تو ليسن اف اي شو يو مور ذان 80 بيبل If I show you more than 80 oh. books, all of them are saying it's authentic. Are you a fraud? You I, must be done. Listen, Abdul, Abdul, are you, are you going to let me talk? Potato. You have no idea. Are you? You are the one who have no idea. Answer me. Why are you because you're saying that? Transmission. I am the asking you, listen, transmission. What transmission? You, you Listen, listen, listen. Okay, hold on. Oh, listen. Can you answer us? Okay, can you answer us and give us the names of the three messengers? Can you answer us and give us the names of the three messengers? Yes or no? Can, can you answer us and give us the name of the three messengers? Asking her to show her boots. Listen. You are a disgusting, disgusting man. Listen, listen, the one is disgusting, the one is disgusting is your prophet, your prophet, he said, in the judgment day, in the judgment day, your Muslim nation will have a button on my size. Listen, listen, see, they got humiliated, yeah, they muted me again. I got a clip, I got a clip of it. This is Ibn And this is this is Tafsir Ibn Kathir. Now this is a different book. It says here that this is, and you, I, I challenge you to show me where it says the narration is wrong. I yeah. challenge you to say that this is a false narration, potato, in front of you. Ibn Kathir. It says this is now a different book, additional book, second book. This is not the first one, and it says here that the first one was John and Johanna, and, and uh, uh, John, Johanna, and Peter, and the third one was Paul. Now, why Ibn Kathir playing a clip of my Quran? <laughs> Coward! Coward! They mute me, they hang up, and they play videos. It's in the front of you. It is not me who's saying that. And those are the messengers of the Messiah. If the Messiah is not a prophet, if he's a prophet of God, how he can send messengers? And they are prophets who make miracles. Do a prophet have a have an authority to make me a prophet? This is Ibn Kathir. And all of this, by the way, you notice how they are jumping from topic to topic to topic. You notice? <laughs> Does it say? That did Ibn Kathir he says that this is a lie? Where it says that? Show me. And we have more than 80 books saying the same stories that those are the messengers of Jesus and Paul is one of them. And this is their books and this is Ibn Kathir. And you see, I was expecting that this guy will have a debate. But look at the bunch of kids playing videos and muting me. This is how much terrified they are to have a, 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 you know, a, a normal conversation. This is a disaster day to Mimi Hijab. What kind of a debate you ask the guy a question and you mute him? And now Mimi Hijab is saying he cannot read Arabic, he cannot read English. <laughs> well, the same as your prophet, maybe. Your prophet, he cannot even read his name. If we put the name of the word donkey in Arabic in front of him, he will, he will think that this is Muhammad Hijab. Then he might be right. And look, look how silly they are. The Christian prince, he did not know how to read Arabic. <laughs> you see, uh, what a disaster. So this is the debate you were asking for? This is the debate you were asking for? <laughs> Well, here we go. The one who is misinforming people is here. Prove him wrong. He got you busted life on air. In every single thing you said. 
All right? Yeah, and now they are playing that David Wood and Sam Shamoon, they are learning lies from me, supposedly. <laughs> You see, I told you from the beginning, we know that those people are a bunch of kids and they will never debate a Christian prince. Seven people there. Uh, why why you keep hanging and uh, muting? Let, let me ask you, how brave you are. Why you keep muting me and hanging up on me? So, listen, okay, listen, 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 listen. I, I, I want to help you. 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 My name is a prophet Muhammad. I do not know how to read. Now I'm going to teach you. So let me school you. Let me school you. Let me school you. I want you to tell me what kind of a prophet, what kind of a... Listen. Listen, oh, yeah, listen, why you keep changing topic? What topic you want to talk about? Choose one. You can do this. Choose one. Choose one. What topic you, you want to talk about? What choose one? What you what topic you want to talk about? Chapter 9, verse 30. And then you said that that means that God is uh, Jesus is God in the in the in the in the Quran. Yes. Which one? Because you read it wrong. You read it wrong, bro. Which one? Which you one? read it wrong. Which you one? read it wrong. Which in one? the Arabic, you read it wrong. Uh -huh. And you are sitting there next to David. Okay, Lord, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. All right, all right, all right, all right. Listen, listen. Did you mute me again or not yet? No, I didn't. Go okay. ahead. Why you why you change the topic about Paulus now? What what happened? I'm saying to you that you can't read. What, what, that, what, my friend, I am, my name is Muhammad. My name is Muhammad. I cannot read. Now I'm asking you why you change the topic. Why you keep like me like a kid? Why are you not running away from the topic you're asking? Why we don't? Why you? Why you change the topic like a kid? Why? What's wrong with you? Let us finish this one and we will go around. One by one. One by one. Did Ibn Kathir agree? One. One by one, Abdul. We will go to the second one and everybody will laugh at you. You see, look at this. He started talking about breastfeeding and then he refused to talk about it. Turkey, listen, Turkey. Turkey, a bunch of Turkey. A bunch of Turkey. Which topic you want to talk about? We start with the breastfeeding. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Potato, potato, I'll fry you today. Everybody is laughing at you. Listen, listen, listen. In the beginning, in the beginning, the, the first topic you have. He's done. He's done. I'm done. You are the one. You are the. Are you, the are you going to hang up now? Are you going to hang up? No, I'm bringing this guy up to you again. Don't bring me to him again. Yeah, trust me, he's finished. He's finished. Absolutely, he's finished. Absolutely. Everybody is laughing at you, Mimi Hijab. Coward, he hang up again. The coward. Don't bring him to me again, please. Don't, don't bring him to me again. <laughs> you wanna debate me? You, you, you. You know the you, you. It have like a thing. You put it in your finger. You are my you, you. All of you are a bunch of you, you. And now he's asking people for donation right away. He's afraid to talk because if he let me talk, he will be. He did not let me talk and I destroyed him. Muhammad Safari, this is a new guy. Hello? 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 This guy is playing the video. Yeah, I don't know if this guy wants to talk or he's playing video behind. Let's call him back. <laughs> this is not Muhammad Hijab, this is a guy named Muhammad, Muhammad Safari. I will lie. Hello? Hello? Yes. Yes, uh, uh, can I talk? Sure. Can you mute uh, the video, please? You are playing uh, Mimi Hijab video. Can you can you mute it, please? Uh, it's Christian Prince. Yes, it's me. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, so uh, I'm uh, just wanted to say that uh, he is a coward and he doesn't know how to argue on anything. Well, obviously he, he he's afraid to debate me, right? This is the whole point. So this is why he yeah. keeps muting me. He's just making his own show. Right. Uh, and yeah. But it, it, actually, it, it damaged his image in front of everybody. I mean, why you when, when somebody, you do not know much about Islam, you want to debate him face to face as he claimed, and he make his drama and blah, blah, blah. 
why you don't do the same with me? What about you say to me? Silence me, show me the same he do, you know. But look what he did. He called me, he asked the question, he mute me, and then he talk, and then he hung up, and he called me, and then he mute me, and he hung up. <laughs> so Muhammad, are you an ex-Muslim? I'm an ex-Muslim, yes. Okay, wonderful, my friend. Happy for you. Yeah. You see, I did yes. not. I know. I know from the beginning that this guy will never debate me because none of them is a qualified really to have a little argument with me. And you can tell everybody can tell who have knowledge, who have not, right? Right. Everybody can tell in a second, so there is no need. And you know, there are five, six people there, or seven people, and yet they are the one who mute me. Okay, why you don't talk normal and let us see, ask questions, let us have a nice. A debate what this is screaming and laughing and haha the the second they open the microphone they start laughing and making you know so they are they are a kind that they are street boys they are not respectable people. but i accept it just to, just to show the christians who they are otherwise it's an insult for me actually to speak to such a kind of people it's an insult to christian prince to speak to such kind of people but i accept it and i accept to talk to all kind of people because i believe that the lord you know, I'm not better than my Lord. The Lord, he, say, he said, I came to the sick. I came to the sick. So even if they are sick, I am not better than my Lord. So I have to speak even to the sick one. Extremely That's true, sick. my friend. Yeah. Well, thank you, Muhammad, for calling. And uh, I hope uh, uh, more. Uh, uh, please feel free, all of you, to download this uh, video. This is hilarious. This is a hilarious video. And look, he is the one who ran. He is the one who said this guy he finished for what? Finished for what? I mean, he is the one who's finished. Everybody is laughing. I showed him, I showed him from their own books that yes, Paul is the messenger of Jesus. I showed him from his book that if you don't say inshallah, you are a false Muslim. If you don't say inshallah, you are a liar, not only a false Muslim. He's a prophet, he's you know his name. Yes, go ahead. Their God is a liar because he made someone else appear on the cross. And he's the best planner and yeah, best this deceiver. Is, uh, yeah, it doesn't say planner; it says an Arabic deceiver. You know. Yeah. And the funny, he says to me, "Don't speak Arabic." He made a mistake in reading Arabic. I mean, this is delirious. I'm an, I, I am I am born in the Middle East. All my life, I spend speaking Arabic. I read Arabic every day. And the Muslims, they, let us say, for sake of argument, let us say I am an Italian person. Not I don't speak Arabic at all. What does that have to do with the topic? Prove me wrong. No problem. Speak Arabic or not, prove me wrong. Still, he cannot do it. So. They try to discredit uh, uh, you by making their own, uh, and, you know, and he knew that the Muslim will support. It doesn't matter what he's saying. You know, hey, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. But anyone who is watching, he see that those guys have no knowledge. Five, six, seven people in there, and one guy, and he got you busted in two seconds. I was expecting a debate, really. I mean, but I know that uh, this is what they are. Thank you, Muhammad Fokor. Anything you want to say? Now, I want to thank you for everything you're doing because uh, you open the eyes of so many people. I'm, I'm watching your uh, videos and I'm learning a lot of from you. Right. And, um, you know, only uh, my name is Muhammad, you know, so. Yeah, I, can tell you I, saw that. Um, I thought in the beginning you are. I, I'm not too proud to leave uh, to, to be a Muslim, you know, it's uh, it's it's the truth. The truth is what counts, you know, and and. Yahweh is a true God, you know, and God doesn't change his name. God doesn't change his day. God is almighty and he perverts his word one time. And the role, uh, role person of mankind is Jesus Christ, the person without sin and not a sinner like Muhammad. He is not the role model of mankind. It's Jesus Christ, the son of God and the truth of God. I mean, I mean. He died for me. And more than that, he cannot show how much he loves me. Everybody who's listening would die for his mother, would die for his brother, would die for someone he loves so that he doesn't go to hell. And the same thing is that was Jesus that died for you. He want to show who the false prophets were because he loves you and he died for you. He came in flesh and he died. More than that, no one can give to show that he loves you. And this is the message of the truth. And the father sacrificed his son to show us how much he loves us. And this is the true message and can only be from God. And that Jesus didn't die on the cross, it's a lie from a lying God. 
my, my friend uh, Muhammad, some people asking what make you leave Islam? Like, uh, did you uh, like what is the reason? What uh, you um, you watch my videos or something else? What else? What, what happened? No, I had I had dreams. I had dreams. Um, I uh, many miracles happened to my life. Uh, uh, a person, I, I told him that I've, uh, I, 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 uh, I am Christian. He laughed at me, uh, and I love this person. And he had an after-death experience. He came to hell. A light get him out from hell. He saw many things. Then he prayed to Jesus, and uh, 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 three months later, he paid, prayed to Jesus, and he saw angels about the flying. But he didn't tell the story to, uh, to anyone. And I have uh, experienced many miracles through God, through prayers and everything. And God showed to me um, that this is the truth, you know. So, and um, there are many reasons. For example, that the virgins in uh, Islam, in, in, the, in the heaven, they become virgin again after having sex. Even that you have virgins in paradise. I mean, you really want to believe that? That uh, <laughs> in paradise are virgins waiting for you? Do you really think that this is the truth? And if Allah is the best planner and deceiver, uh, or, or, or how the verses, why did He make Jesus, yeah, get uh, 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 get uh, born from from a virgin? Which sense does it make? And if um, if you are an all-knowing God, and you know what consequences this birth marriage has, that the people think that Jesus doesn't have a earthly father. Uh, you they know, in the Bible, they, they it makes sense. Explain. They can't explain it's... anything. Yeah, they can't explain it. Jesus doesn't have a father. Why? I mean, what what the point? And uh, and my mom, it's... she can't claim that uh, 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 you know she don't have a husband when she gave birth to me. Anyone, your mother can do the same. You know what I mean? It's like, I mean, it, it, this miracle nobody can see, right? Nobody can witness actually, because women she can say I was a virgin. So what is the point of it? Because God He make miracles to prove something, correct? He's right. Correct. So this miracle nobody can witness. And nobody can prove or disapprove, but yet the Quran accepted. So, what was the point? The point is very simple: that Muhammad he said, "Every son of an Adam is a sinner." So Jesus, for he is not sinner; he is not a son of an Adam; he is son of God. If we ask the Muslim who is the father of Jesus, what do you say? <laughs> what is the answer? Anyway, my friend, thank you for calling. Happy to hear you. And God bless yeah, you. Thank you very and much. Bless. Thank you for your work. God bless you in Jesus' name. I mean, thank you. thank you very for everything, my man. Thank you. Bye. 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 All right. All right. Well, uh... <clears throat> hello. Hello. Yes, my friend. Go ahead. You're live on air. Hello. I hear you. You're live on air. Go ahead. Uh, hi, Christian Prince. Uh, let me just say a few words before we start. I'm really upset. Uh, this wasn't uh, a right debate. Uh, those people are not really debating. Uh, they are running away. They proved that they have no knowledge of Islam at all. They proved that... Uh, they're just defend, defending a lie. Um, the, yeah, so... but, you know, for me, I, this debate makes me happy, actually, because it shows that those people are a bunch of kids and they have no idea what they are talking about. You know, yeah, they, because, they you speak know, for long had, about uh, how much they knew, how much they knew, and now people, they discover that those guys, they are terrified to let me talk. This is how much terrified they are. They, you know, he asked the question, he mute me, and even when he wouldn't mute, because he forgot that we are live on air on the other side. See, the plan was he will, he will go all the I, I, channel and he will be with me. I have, and, and people will not know what I say. Uh, yes, Christian Prince, I had four devices monitoring all the process. Okay. Hmm. I, I had you and I had them. I had your voice and I had their voice. I, I was on your channel and their channel. Believe me, they. Uh, uh, he was. Uh, he, he, he left the Skype. Uh, away from uh, uh, where they were because they didn't want people to hear your voice. Yeah. Okay. And of course, we know your ability. We know your knowledge. We know what what, what you are. Uh, you speak I, Arabic, right? I, so, I, you, said, you said you speak Arabic, right? Uh, but, of course, I speak Arabic, 
كل ال الديالكت يا اي كان سبيك اول ذا ديالكت اند اي ام ا بريزنتر اف يو دونت مايند اي ام نوت غونا ساي ويت شانل بات اف اتس نيسيساري اي ويل ساي اند اي دونت مايند بات اتس فيري ريسبكت فور فيري ويل نون شانل اي ام وركينج فور اي ام ا بريزنتر اربيك بريزنتر Uh, for uh, since 1985, I've been, uh, you know, reading news and presenting news hour. So these people, they don't know Arabic. They don't know anything about Arabic. One small thing, if they have against you about Arabic, it was, yeah, when you uh, talk to somebody else. Uh, and that changes uh, if you say, يا ايها او يا straight and say the person uh, uh, i can't uh, i'm sorry i can't translate that no, to no, no, no. Uh, english my friend there's, there's uh, something called tashkil the tashkil they and the your uh, perfect they cannot they cannot criticize you for that so i am ready in writing in um, a voice in video if they want to Uh, witness that your Arabic no, 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 is friend, perfect. I, I don't care what they say. I mean, you, you see, actually, if the Muslims they say Christian Prince is is saying the truth, that's mean Christian Prince is a liar. So <laughs> I, don't, I don't want you to do that because this is this is simple. If, if the reason, Christian the reason, the most, the most, the most, the most they attack it, me and the most I make them angry because of what I say, and what I say is the truth. The second they say bless your Christian Prince, it's mean Christian Prince is a fraud. So exactly. I don't want anyone to defend me and to say no. You say that right. Let people judge. Same time, no, we are showing them. We are showing them. You see, they ask for reference. I show them in a second. Whatever they say, like me can judge about Arabic and things like that. Uh, but I have a very good yeah, knowledge. Uh, uh, so, uh, about my friend, Islam. there's a Muslim is calling. Let, I will take him if you don't mind. A Muslim is calling. No, no, no. Of course, of course. I just wanted to say this: that your Arabic is perfect. No one can. Uh, criticize you in that part. So thank you very much. All right, thank you very much. Let us take Bye. this Muslim. He's calling. I don't know. Hello. Yes, my friend. Go ahead. You're live. Okay. Assalamu alaikum, brother. Do you hear me? Wa alaikum assalam. Look, right, as a Muslim, I was uh, waiting for this debate. Yes. Uh, I was a bit excited to be honest with you because it was going on for a long time. But uh, these guys, yeah, what they did was uh, look. I'm not a Sufi like them. I'm a Salafi. Right. But these guys, you know, uh, I don't have anything against them, but they make some good points. What I recommend you to do is uh, go and debate people like Shabu Ali because what these guys did is literally they went to a room, open room, and your voice wasn't coming directly to them. It was uh, it come from far away, so they couldn't really understand you. Same was opposites. They were also far away from the mic. No, no, but this is not the anyway. So, uh, still, still, they could not make any argument, right? I mean, who cared about the microphone? It's a story now. Still, they could not answer me about anything. And uh, as you see, they keep muting me. You, as a Muslim, how you invite me oh, to debate me? Because they can't hear you, and they and you can't hear. No, no, no. I can hear. Properly. I can hear. Still, no problem. It's okay. I can, sometimes I cannot hear him. Yes, but anyway. Uh, 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 Because the whole point yeah, is, but they weren't see, listening. That's the see, problem. They no, no. The, the problem is, my friend, they don't want to debate. The problem is, they are afraid that people will hear me. This is why they mute mm -hmm. me anyway. So, I wasn't muted all the time. So, yeah, it, and what kind this, of debate? This wasn't I, 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 I want to ask were. you, you as a Muslim, why you say you want to debate a Christian prince, and when you ask him the question, you mute him. Yeah, that's, that's why I recommend you to maybe debate someone like Shabir Ali. Shabir Ali, you know, Shabir Ali is, is bigger a fraud than, than Shabir also. Ali. I challenge him many times, even ABN TV. They ask him to come. He accepts. The second he heard that this is a Christian prince, he took a he took a hike. He said, uh, uh, "I am busy with my PhD." And since then, he never, you know. Shabir Ali is the same as they are. What about now? Huh? Mm. What about now? That was just time just uh, last year, somebody asked him. He said to him, "I have a question, a million dollar question. When you are debating Christian Prince Shabir Ali, he said, oh, you know, there's some people high leak and low leak, whatever. You know, he's making excuse not to debate anyway. So he knew that he have no, he's no match. All of them, they are no match. Now let me ask you, my my, my friend, you are a Muslim and you are a Salafi as you claim. Yeah. So why you don't bring me yeah. a sheikh? 
of your choice, someone you respect. Shabir Ali is a, is a potato. You don't even know how to read the Quran. No, I, I live in uh, an English country, so it's hard for me to bring something. It doesn't matter. Don't you have a mosque? You go to where is, the, where is the sheikh of the mosque? That's it. There's nobody in, in the Islamic world can answer me and refute Christian prince. You know, and those are the bunch of kids that want to present Islam. And people are laughing at them. I mean, look at this. This this is a video is a priceless. People will will I'm will saying. die laughing at those guys who say they want to debate Christian Prince. They call the guy and then they play and videos. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know what they were doing. Let's say what I I was hoping for them to answer and stuff, you know, too. But what they were doing, let's say, you know, well, they, I, I, they, they say to me, what, right what is the synod of uh, that Paul is uh, is a messenger of Allah? I mean, kids, man, they're kids. This is this is the most funny answer because. You asking me for the reference? I'm showing you your 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 most. But what's books. the outcome? What, what if you can prove? What if you can prove that Paul is in the Quran? What, what, what's the outcome of that? Yeah, but you see that the, 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 they they asked me to prove something, and they never thought. By the way, this is the whole point. They thought Christian Prince he had one statement about Paul, and they they were this is why they are choosing their topic. Like I will, we were answering about this one, and they are the one who keep jumping from topic to topic to topic. And each time they jump yeah, on yeah. topic again, they busted. Are you yourself as a Muslim calling them a bunch of kids? Today. Why do you think they are kids? Tell me. No, because uh, it's, it, it was just a mess. It was a mess. I was watching both videos at the same time. Well, it was a mess. It so my friend, I want you to I want you as a Muslim to download the video. You can download it from my channel and their channel. You can merge them together. And post it in YouTube and tell your friends look, those are the Muslim already. And look, every two seconds they will ask for donation. Is it clear that this is a business? Here we go. I'm live on air. When the when I guys did I say to you go, give me donation? Every two minutes they ask for donation. The guy who go in the video, he hold a, 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 like a, a bag of candies. I don't know what is there. Say buy this one, guys. He post product to buy and sell. He go online. He debate David Wood after two minutes. The debate finished. They go. They go home. They made a video. Says please send us a, a donation. There is more than one hundred thousand Muslim leave Islam a day. Now let us see who is going to give you donation today. After this debate, this is horrible. Hello. Hello. Yes. Yes, I saw the video uh, with you and Muhammad Hijab. All right. Okay. And I really wanted to tell you what you did was a tremendous victory to you. Glory to the Lord, my friend. It's not to me. It's to the Lord. Nothing for me. Yes, it's for the Lord. And, and, and I, I, the reason I can say this is because what they do is known as ignorance. They muted you. They didn't speak to you. They didn't answer any of your questions. They gave you a verse and they never responded on that. To be very fair with you, these people are ignorant. They were here to show Muslims that, oh, look, we are debating Christian Prince. Oh, look, we are, he, we are insulting him. Oh, look, he doesn't have knowledge. But in fact, you were the only guy in the room who had all the knowledge, all the information, all the references, all the evidence, and praise be to God for that. I want to tell you that we are proud of you in India. We were watching this debate, and we have uh, uh, like around 20 people in the room right now, you know, listening to you. And uh, we want to tell you that everything you said was accurate. And they had no answer. So whenever we preach gospel in India to Muslims, this is the same thing they do to us. They insult us so that we will leave the room and everyone in the room can think, oh, look, they insulted them. So they are great. Well, you know, my friend, you know, uh, for me, I know how to deal with them. And mm -hmm. uh, I know exactly, actually, before we, you know, we do this. I, if you watch the video from the beginning, I said, we know that this is not going to be a debate. This will be those people are they are they are a street boys, you know. And, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they are trying to make money of the business, make donation, mm -hmm. try presenting themselves that they are the one who have knowledge. And look, mm -hmm. very simple thing: a guy who mm -hmm. claimed that he is speaking for Islam and he want to defend Islam, yet right. when he posts in YouTube, he never say Inshallah. 
You see, maybe some people might say, oh, what a big deal. This is a big deal. This is a big it deal. It is a big deal. Yes, yeah, it it's is. It's a big deal because, because you, just, uh, you just broke the command of Allah and the command mm -hmm. of Allah saying that the one who promised, and I showed him the reference. I showed him yes. their own scholars saying that the one who mm -hmm. made the promise without saying, inshallah, he's a liar. And it, not only that, yes. you see, there is, there is a hadith about, uh, uh, about their yeah. prophet uh, mm -hmm. where, where uh, uh, I don't know if you know the story of Gog and Magog. Okay. Well, if, if you can show us, that will be amazing no because problem. people are watching. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So in the story of uh, Gog and Magog, I will, I will, uh, I will get the link. Uh, mm -hmm. um, let us see. Here we go. Uh, yeah, always. I never say anything. Everybody knows. I never say something without proof. Here we go. Exactly. This is the story yeah. of Gog and Magog. Gog and Magog every day, every day for centuries, thousands of years. They dig mm -hmm. in the wall, which Allah supposedly ordered Al Khadr, Zul to uh, mm -hmm. to to uh, uh, to build between them and us, which mm -hmm. is obviously a stupid fairy tale story. And they keep digging every day, every night they dig until the night, and they dig. Mm -hmm. Be careful! I'm showing the screen. They will dig mm -hmm. until they can almost see the rays of the sun, which means they can go through. With the right. light, they see the light, you know, which means yeah, I can read it. Yes, small, tiny, uh, in a hole. Then one of mm -hmm. them who will change of them, he will say, go back and we will dig it tomorrow. You see? <laughs> and then because and they, they were doing this all the, all the you see, if you read from the beginning, it says, until mm -hmm. they see the ray, and mm -hmm. the one in charge of them, he will say, go back, we will dig it tomorrow. Then Allah put it back. But why Allah put it back? Because they did not say, if Allah will, inshallah, then we, oh yeah so he keep doing that and then he come back in the morning he he, he mm -hmm. Allah he put it back he put what he made, he fixed the wall mm -hmm. okay then mm -hmm. uh, 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 and the stronger than before you see it stronger than before and this is will mm -hmm. continue until their time has come and Allah uh, uh, wants to send them against the people and they will mm -hmm. dig until can almost say the ray of the sun and then on, one of them he will say in charge he will say uh, go back. Mm -hmm. And we will dig it tomorrow if Allah will. That's inshallah, of course. Inshallah. And, and then yeah, and that, we will be able to go through. I mean, uh, like it's look, you don't need uh, evidence to destroy Islam. You need common sense. Okay, no, no, my friend. And you, see, you need common uh -huh. sense, but if you don't have evidence, it's going uh -huh. to be uh, let us say uh, just common sense. No, no, I'm I'm talking on uh, on the common common uh, thinking. When you read this, mm -hmm. okay. And and if you hear this somewhere, you know, not in, in, in the Quran, if you hear it from your friend's mouth or from anyone, you know, and they're like, hey, are you stupid? How can you dig and find rays of sun? How it is possible? No, no, there's okay. a wall. There's a wall. This uh -huh. is the, the, what he's saying. There's a wall mm -hmm. between two land, the land where Gog and Magog are hold behind. Mm -hmm. They are behind that wall, so they dig, so they can see the light through the other side of the wall. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now I get so it more clear. Because yes. they did not say, inshallah. Allah, mm -hmm. He fixed the wall each time. Each night they go back home. Allah, He fix it. You see, it says Allah put it back stronger. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. this guy, He knew how important this is in Islam to say, Inshallah. And, and, listen, and, and yes, that and is from yes. now on. From now on, Ali mm -hmm. Dawa and Muhammad Hijab, they will do the same as their prophet. They will never say again the word anything mm -hmm. about well without Inshallah. Actually, somebody just told me. That Ali mm -hmm. Dawa, he told Muhammad Hijab, let us from now on say, uh, Insha'Allah, so he will not come back to us on this. I, I can, I can, I can, you know, very honestly, you know, when I debate Muslims and I have this situation <laughs> where when I challenge some people in the Muslim community, what they do is they, they, uh, whoever, whosoever I'm challenging, example, Hijab and Ali Dawa, okay. So other Muslims will force them, you know, put, put pressure of them. Hey, why do, aren't you responding to this guy? Hey, why aren't you making something about this guy? So what they did today is they just picked, cherry picked everything which will help them to make a case. But in fact, they and the entire conversation they had, they, they were all about it was like a street fight. Yeah, you know, but, it was like a street but, dogs. But, working. Yeah, OK, they pick up their cherry, but their cherry was against them. Exactly, that's what, you know? and they destroyed themselves. Yeah, they, so, they, they, they uh, didn't uh, nothing. And you see, this is why I say I don't care what the Muslim will, will say to me when you. I don't know. I don't know what the question. Right, we did not set up a debate. Right, I mean about 
what we will talk mm-hmm. about. And this is their right. weakness, you see? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> because if we say when I talk about one thing, mm-hmm. then they will go and prepare like 100,000 pages from the internet, they print it and read it for us. Like, uh, But here we don't, we don't do that. You know, exactly. Most people they can mm-hmm. survive in a debate like the one they did with, with uh, David with why? Because he goes mm-hmm. on stage, speak for ten minutes, and mm-hmm. then by the time he finished, people even forgot what he said. So he <laughs> can make mockery and people laugh, yeah. but nobody got mm-hmm. any, anything. Here we are showing reference, mm-hmm. getting them busted in the spot. Mm-hmm. They say where it says that, we show them where it says that. Yeah. As 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 simple as that. And then and, and this, mm-hmm, by, mute, yeah. by muting me, showing uh, 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 like how much they are terrified. Of course, they are. You know? They are very terrified yeah. about you. So, wh- okay, why? How you want to debate me and you you mute me? I mean, what kind of a debate? People will laugh. You see, if I am <laughs> the one who mute them, people will laugh at me too. Exactly. Even though they but were very... bubbling behind the screen, so I did not mm-hmm. mute them, and they were calling me names and calling me boy, whatever. Call me boy, no mm-hmm. problem. <laughs> Yeah, and and that is the spirit of Islam. When they cannot defend something, they will insult it. They will, you know, kill it, and they will force it to, you know, in in a measures. But you know what 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 I appreciate about this, the reason I wanted this to happen because uh, I wanted Muhammad Hijab to be in front of you because even in India, people listen to him, people uh, come to us with his questions. And even when we answer them, you know, with proper references, they never have any answer. And what you know what they say? Hey, 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 you, you, you are an idiot. Okay. And that's all they have. I, I believe in a God. I believe in Christ because my Christ defends himself. Exactly. They, they, these I'm guys, not, I'm not they need defend, to... Dis- I'm not here defending Christianity. As exactly. Much. I'm showing that's, the truth as simple as that. Anyway, my friend, and, but, there's people trying yeah. to call. So I'm going to uh, uh, apologize. Um, yeah. so no, no gre- problem. Bro. So my greeting to the people of India, we love them all, you know. And uh, yes, thank you, brother. Don't be proud of Keep... me. Be proud of being a Christian, following the Messiah. I'm no one, my friend. I'm no one. The Messiah yes. is our victory. By Him, we are victorious. The Bible says, "Amen." If the Lord is with is with me. Who could be against me? Against this is why me. when Amen. I speak, I speak with confidence, and I know I am a winner. For the Lord is with me, not because of Christian prince, not because of exactly. my knowledge. Yes. My knowledge alone yes. will do nothing. They have a low Lord IQ has... for follow mm-hmm. the wrong God. This is what makes them look like a fool, a bunch of fools trying to prove a point and we, we, and we laugh. Thank you, my friend, yes. for calling. Take care. And and God bless you, brother. Take Bye. Care. Bye-bye. <clears throat> Do we have any Muslim uh, sheikh would like to call us? A sheikh who knows how to say inshallah. Now, how many of you will download this video and repost it? I challenge Muslims to download the video and repost it, actually. If you Muslims are proud about what hijab did, I challenge you to download my video. Hello? Here we go. This guy blowing me, uh, fighting by swords and uh, uh, ISIS. <coughs> Savage. You know, the, the, uh, you, you say to me, ISIS, you know you're idiot. We don't fear your ISIS, they fear us. We put them in the cage, don't you see what's happening? When the war started in USA, I joined the army. I, I, to join the army. Hello? Hello, CP. Hey, brother Sam, how are you? God bless you, my friend. You are my teacher, don't forget, okay? <laughs> yeah, they were saying I am your teacher. <laughs> yeah, no, it's true, of course. You are our teacher. You I'm know Arabic, you don't. But that's good. There was good barbecue, brother. You barbecue. Praise to the Lord. I will put your screen in the your your, your camera and the screen. You want that or uh, you don't want it? Yeah, no, sure. Yeah, I don't care. Everyone sees my ugly face. No, my friend. We are children of God and we are always good looking in his eyes. By the grace of Jesus. In his eyes, that's all that matters. Anyone yeah, else thinks no, I'm ugly? No, that's okay. No matter what they say. Here we go. This is a, say hello, guys, to Sam Shamoon, our our brother. And actually, I, I me myself, I appreciate Sam Shamoon for he is a is a warrior. This is one thing about him I really admire. He's a fighter, he never give up. And uh, you know, he's very passionate. This is why sometimes he gets angry from you, all of you. You know, because he's very <laughs> passionate. He's and people they can't understand that. No, I'm trying to explain to them. You see, when you are when you are very passionate, 
you know, like you you have a lot of energy, you know. And sometimes people don't understand, like why why he don't why why he's not uh, like kind to me. He is very kind to you, and because he is, he is upset because how come you do not know yet? You know, exactly. we are a Christian. We should know. So what? Right. what what do you think about uh, this funny debate, Sam? <laughs> uh, it, it, I knew you were going to destroy and decimate their arguments, and I knew they couldn't handle it. So praise God you have it recorded on your part because we need to spread this, that these guys are cowards. They have no respect. They have no honor, no integrity. One thing I do want, I want to get your reference. You quoted from uh, Isas, NMBI by Eben Kathir. You said page 404. Yes where he mentions the conversion of Paul, and it's uh, Sahih. We have to get that in English. So I'm going to try to find it, yeah. translate it to English, because we need, the Christians need to know the Muslim sources that, like you mentioned, you have 80 books that confirm Paul was a true messenger of Allah who did teach the truth about Jesus. Christians need to know this because CPU know this. They always attack Paul, but you just quoted from their sources, Ibn Kathir and others. The earliest Muslims believe Paul was a true messenger who taught the truth about Jesus. We have to have this information in English for English speaking people, right. you know? Well, but uh, you need somebody to translate for you because this is in Arabic. Yeah. No problem. I have someone. If you send me the link, because I don't have the book in Arabic. If you send yeah, me the I was, link, I, was I have someone to translate it. Because we, we need that. And uh, just one thing I wanted to see I saw an Assyrian guy here. His name is Jesus Only Assyrian. If he hears me, I want him to contact me. His name is Jesus Only Assyrian. So please contact me. I want to talk to this young man because, you know, he's from my people. All, all God's people are my people. We know that. Mm -hmm. If you're a Christian, you're born in the spirit, you're my brother and sister. But it's good to see Assyrians who also are on fire for Jesus. So please contact me and see if you, I just want to say phenomenal. You put niqab on hijab. Absolutely. All right, keep up the great work, my brother. And when you're done, and I'm not trying to advertise for me, but I'll be also doing a live stream when you're finished, right. and I'll be talking about the topics of the Bible. So, and yes, for the record, I want you to download this. I am confessing, so Muhammad Hijab doesn't need to guess. Christian Prince is my teacher, and he's the teacher of all the Christians who debate Muslims. So you heard me say it. It's recorded. Download it and pass it on to Muhammad Hijab and his niqab. Allah Akbar! <laughs> All right, Sam. Anything else you want to say, my friend? No, that's it. Just keep praying for me and my daughters, and God bless you and use you mightily until Jesus comes. We love you, brother. I mean to that, my friend. Take care. Take care. God bless. God bless. All right. Yeah, uh, Sam, Sam, if you post your uh, your ID down so people they can subscribe to your page too. Sam Shamoon is a great uh, Bible teacher, and he have a very amazing memory, which I, you know, for me, I have a difficult way really to, te to teach in the, the Bible in in uh, in English, because you see the the Bible is a very deep uh, book in 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 the meaning, so you have to be careful in certain words when you say it. So sometimes you might use a word which is not really suitable. Uh, uh, Sam, he have a very great memory, he have a great understanding for the Bible. He speak Aramaic, you know, he's fluent in Aramaic, uh, which is the language of Christ. Uh, in the same time, he is a very passionate and he, he let us say, he is gifted. He's really gifted. So I encourage everybody actually to subscribe to his channel too. He's a wonderful brother in Christ. And, uh, you know, we need to support uh, the warriors. So those, those are the warriors. And they, you see, any anyone, anyone, they bash in their channel, it's mean he's doing great to the Lord. The second they say Sam Shamoon is good in their channel, that's mean he's bad. The second they say Christian Prince is good, that's mean Christian Prince is a fraud. This is how you know who is the one to listen to. You know what I mean? As easy as that. And you know, again, we all we welcome all Muslims to debate us, a nice debate, not like those kids who they mute me. I mean, imagine what kind of a debate. I mean. Is it? Are you ashamed of yourself? You get you call the guy. You call you want to debate. Do you want me to debate the Christian prince or Christian prince? Said I said, I keep asking them. I mean, you see, do you know how how many years I'm debating Muslims? Maybe YouTube alone, like twelve years. And ten years before that, in in Pal Talk. Where are they? 
and not a single time we got a Muslim to debate me and he did not go and he said I have Wawa now uh, I don't keep uh, videos on my channel as you know all of you so I want you all to download this video because I'm sure the Muslims are unhappy with it very unhappy they were expecting uh, 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 the, uh, his name uh, uh, Mimi Hijab he would say to Christian Prince show me actually he said show me show me he said Paul show me where Paul show me silence me answer me and I did immediately for anything they said and this is why Christian Prince is scary he is literally scary for I know it all I know all the garbage in their books which they try to avoid and not to see and not to read and look how funny it is to say a Christian prince do not know how to say Arabic or to speak Arabic I mean it not only it's a stupid to say it's a it doesn't make sense people see me reading Arabic every day Muslims they call me they bait me speaking Arabic and you say to me Christian Prince do not know Arabic and I did lie okay prove it so they you know this is was supposedly for them uh, Muhammad hijab he posted he will debate me but Muhammad hijab he thought I will never call this is why he posted 6 p.m. in, in uh, yesterday his time he never posted in my page, so how I will know about it. And he was hoping that tomorrow will come, Muslims will come, we ask for donation, and we say, Christian Prince, where are you? The coward did not show up. And when he said that, when he saw that, I am coming anyway, and for sure I will be there. I mean, this is the golden opportunity to be the devil in his, in his room. They decide to mute me after they ask me. So who is the one now he can debate a Christian prince? Show me. Silence me. <laughs> All right. Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? He is a scholar. <clears throat> I think I'm going to stop here. How many of you did subscri subscribe to our channel, guys? But by the way, I have more than one, so you can subscribe to the rest. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, to Brother Sam Shamoon, David Wood, all the good warriors, you know, and always support them. Those are your brothers, your warriors. They stand for the truth, and the truth will set you free, my friend. The truth, not a prophet, he promised me a woman one mile her bum in heaven. Not a prophet, he promised me that I will have women, I will see the marrow of their bones in heaven. I am not tempted by x ray women. That is stupid and that is sick. I am not tempted by beautiful boys in heaven who they are so white. While Jesus was a promising holiness, Muhammad was a promising lust. While Jesus was saying, be holy like your father, Muhammad saying, any women, any man, any women, they agree to have sex for three days, three nights. Have fun. Have fun, my friend. Enjoy it. We follow the holy. They follow the bully. The bully Muhammad, and this is what they tried to do with me. They tried to bully me, but it didn't work. It all bounced back on them. 
The plan was we will call him and we will bully him. But are you kidding me? You have no idea who I am. So I'm not going to stay longer. I saw you guys, you can download the video. I hope I will see this video all over the internet. If they are proud, if you're Muslim and you are proud, please download the video, post it in your channel. I, I, I'm giving you a license from me if you are a Muslim. I wanted to show the Muslims how proud you are of this debate. Seven boys on the other side with big beard and Christian Prince. He erased them. Yeah, yeah, we will keep it here for uh, 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 for some time so you can download it. Uh, no problem. But you see, the Muslims are giving us 102 dislike. What is your like, guys? Give like to Jesus, not to Christian Prince. Give like to Jesus. Give love to Jesus who loves you. For the Father, for our God, for our Lord, he loved the world. He sent his only begotten son. And his only begotten son, he said, I will never leave you alone. And we are not alone. And the coward, they say, do you dare to say what you say in front of us in our face? What does that mean? You will beat me up? A bunch of potatoes. People, they insult your prophet every day. What you can do about it? Look how coward they are. Even they are making a threat. Do you dare to say that in the front of our face? Didn't you hear them, what they do in the speaker corner? Yes, they say it to you in your face, what you did about it. So, a glory to the Messiah, a glory to the Lord. We are victorious. And victory is my last name. And that is Jesus the Christ. He is victory. He overcome death by death. He is right now living in the heaven, even in the yellow page of Muhammad. He is coming back as a just judge, as Muhammad said, which means you Muslim will stand in the front of the just of God. That is the Messiah. And how dare you to say that Jesus is just a man, but he is a just judge, when no one can be just judge save God. For just is one of the attributes of God, not of man. No man is just. But Jesus. So victory, victory, victory in the name of the Messiah, in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. And with victory, we leave you for today. May the Lord bless you all. And this is a Christian prince. I appreciate all your support and love. And we love the Muslims, never hate them. They are poor people. They've been misled by both those scammer. Those people, they will be judged in the judgment day for their lies. Trust me. And the penalty will be very, very serious. Very serious. So my father, I pray, forgive them. They do not know what they are doing, but not those deceivers. Those people are deceiving people just to take their money. Forgive them, Father. They do not know what they are doing, for they are misleaded. But my friend, if I pray to the Lord to forgive you, that's not enough. You have to ask the Lord and repent yourself. So my prayer and your prayer will work. So the Lord may forgive you for your sin, for following Muhammad and denying the Christ, the Messiah, the Holy Name, the Lord. The one who can resurrect people from death, as the Quran said. The one who can tell you even what you hide in your houses. The one who can heal the blind. Are you blind? If you are blind, my friend, you need Jesus. You do not need Muhammad. The Quran says so. If you are deceived, you need Jesus, not Muhammad. If you are sick, you need the healer, the Messiah, not Muhammad. Muhammad, he could not even heal himself. He could not heal his son. The Muslim, they say he have a son and his sons was dying one by one. 
while the Messiah by touching people he made them alive again he bring life to them people are healed just by touching his clothing that is my Lord who is yours thank you Christ is Lord Islam is false and see you soon again